a lot of argument within the company that, uh, that you know, some people said you have to cultivate the, the speculators, but uh, um, I wanted to see the cards collectible in the sense of stamps, where you don't go, you go to a post office and buy some stamps, you don't expect them to be immediately worth $10 uh, when you spend, spend $2, you, uh, but over time, they can be special, and so that's where we, where we aimed it. My intuition is that having a $20 card is, uh, is about right, $20 cards. Uh, uh, these $50 cards, uh, if those $50 cards are being driven by non-play elements, like they're foils or they've got some imprint, you know, that's one thing. That, that, I don't have really an opinion about that. But, but for players, uh, I, I don't see that as a good thing. I think, I think there has to be a limit. Now, having $20 cards is probably going to uh, push some people out of the market. Uh, but uh, I would want to see some compromise about uh, a, a price point where the game is exciting. exciting. It's exciting to bust the packs open because there are these valuable treasures in them, but yet people don't feel like they're priced out of the market. We're not going to be able to you know, choose a point that's good for everybody and everything, but, uh, but for me, you know, these $40 and $50 is going out of the ballpark.